the yellow stars. One soft summer night, Grandma and I sat on the porch swing. We were simply swinging, legs hanging free, while the gentle breeze ruffled our hair. When I looked up at the sky, I saw there the first star of evening. I squeezed Grandma's arm and made a silent wish. It is a belief among most Christians that if you look at the first star of evening and make a wish, it always comes true. Grandma looked up and smiled slowly. But there was something in her eyes that wasn't smiling. What is it, Grandma? What's the matter? I was just remembering Annie. Annie? Is she one of your friends? Grandma took my hand in hers. Her skin was cool and firm. Her eyes looked at me, but seemed to focus on something or someone far beyond. Annie. Annie was my best friend. It was in that old country of ours. We were very young then. I remember her thick brown hair and big brown eyes. You should have heard how we used to giggle. Grandma, what happened? Where's Annie now? I searched her face for an answer. I had never seen her like this. Grandma came to America from France during World War II. She often spoke lovingly about her mother and father. But she seldom said anything else. Grandma, where's Annie? Annie, I don't know where Annie is. The last time I saw her, Grandma stopped again. She looked up again at that yellow star in the sky. She squeezed my hand. Annie was wearing a yellow star on her coat. Annie's parents were Jews. When the Nazi soldiers occupied France, all the Jews had to wear yellow stars. Annie's mother had sewn the star to Annie's coat. Stars belong in the sky. When people take them down, they have trouble near them. I didn't understand then. I don't really understand even today. It wasn't long after that. One day, the soldiers started taking everyone who wore a yellow star away. They were taken to camps. We started a new life here. But the soldiers had taken Annie and her family. I never saw her again. I don't know what happened to her. Terrible things happened in the camps. But they were survivors. There were a few survivors. Grandma shook her head again. She stood up and leaned on the porch railing. It's times like this, a still silent night with yellow stars in the sky, that I remember her most. Do you suppose she survived? Do you suppose she's out there somewhere? Or... Do you think? Grandma turned and opened the door to go inside. She looked back at the darkening sky. Yellow stars, Martha. They belong in the sky.